Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day so far. I hope you all are having a blessed day, a peaceful day. If you have not had such a day, I want you to focus on the things that you do have. You may say, I don't have a blessed day, but are you alive? Are you safe? Do you have transportation? Do you have family? Can you walk? Can you talk? Do you have something to eat? It may not be everything, but can you and do you have something to eat? Guys, let's give thanks even in the little things. Let's give thanks even when we're wondering if God is doing anything because he's always doing something. A lot of times we just miss the unseen things. We don't see that. So we complain about everything else. You don't realize that you were supposed to have a heart attack today, but the Lord commanded that body, our bodies, to, to bypass and to override what would have been a near death. You didn't know that there was a drunk driver on your road, but God protected you. You don't know that there's a killer in the next aisle over, but God, while you thought you were still visible standing there, God made it where that person's eyes were blind and didn't see you. Oh, there's so many things to give God thanks for. Glory to God. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Lord. You're so good. He's so good. He's so amazing, guys. Let's not lose focus on that. So I want to talk with you about something that poured into my heart. And, um, you know, the Lord has me dealing with a lot of everyday practical things as well as the spiritual things. And so today we're going to talk about mentorship, being mindful of yourselves when you are mentoring someone. And this is something that's really important for pastors to hear. It's very important for um, deacons and male and female alike, whatever position that you are in, when you say you're mentoring and you're advising a person, you must use discretion. You must pay attention to the warnings of God. When the warning bells are going off, when you're beginning to feel that you're changing your feelings towards this person, that you are mentoring is changing. You're able to tell when you're crossing over into an arena that is ungodly, that is becoming too familiar, you need to step back and step out of that. This is something, especially when I'm talking about when you are, you are mentoring and you are advising someone who is the opposite sex. I feel in this hour, I need to talk about that because don't let your good be evil spoken of. Don't let your good intention bring you into this hornet's nest that's going to bring disgrace to you, bring disgrace to your family, and you will mess up a soul that is hurting, but will begin to draw and begin to really become attracted to the anointing of God on you. And God will always let you know he's going to show you the affairs, emotional and or physical, it is never by accident because there are red flags. There are red flags and things that are right there that a lot of people go through, jump over the hurdles of warnings to do what they want to do because they feel that they're in control. Be careful who you're mentoring and saying, I'm helping her or I'm helping him. And there's nothing wrong with realizing someone is attractive because you're not, you cannot help but to notice if someone is attractive, but what you need to pay attention to is when you start to become attracted to the person, when you become attracted to the person, you must stop immediately. You must stop immediately and you must be honest with yourself. You must be honest with yourselves, whoever you are listening, be honest with yourself when your thoughts are on this person, when, even when you're not with them, you are looking forward to their texts and their messages. You must stop this counsel. When, you're, when you become attracted to this man, attracted to this woman, you know when the context of the conversation, the content is changing. You're being warned before the fall. Because God is going to hold you accountable for that soul. And it may be someone in your church or it could be someone at your workplace. God did not give you the, the ability to counsel for you to use it as a bait to reel people in for lust. 
And God has given you the wisdom. He has given these individuals the wisdom and the understanding to know and to be immediately alerted that something has changed. There may be things that you did not say, but sometimes this person that you are mentoring, something has changed in the conversation, the things that they're bringing to you, the, the, the direction that the conversation is going in, it's going longer than it needs to. It is being, there are these sporadic times that you're reaching out to one another. There's no boundaries anymore, intervals, and it is beginning in some cases to cause problems in your home. And when your wife or your husband is beginning to talk to you, if you have a friend or someone close to you that's saying, hey, you're getting a little too close. You are not obligated to be getting up, taking texts and phone calls and nights and weekends, having to leave and go into your office and staying there this whole time mentoring this person because your first priority is to your family. And do not use God as an alibi and a getaway driver for these behaviors because God expects you to respect your home, to respect your household, and to ensure that you are keeping your husband and wife in a place of honor. Because truly God is speaking to you and he's telling you, he's warning you. Some of you, you're beginning to have dreams about this person. Some of you, you're beginning to dress yourself differently because you're going to meet with this person. Some of you, it, you're no longer on task. You're talking about different things. There's a lot of small talk about what you like. Have you been to seeing this? Have you been to this place? Have you seen this movie? Have you done this? Have you done that? God has given you a warning to stop it right now because it is going to go in a direction that is going to be exposed you're going to hurt a lot of people you're going to lose your family and god is going to he is going to hold you accountable for the soul of that person because you are in a position of authority and before that person even recognize the things that they're doing he has already shown you the minute that it's in the person's heart that something is changing, he's warning you. And you're playing with the fire, you're going closer and closer and saying, well, Lord, I'm in control. But God is going to allow the wheels to fall off of this situation should you find yourself being entangled. Some of you, it's going to be something that's very serious that you'll never be able to recover from it. And it will be shame and it will be a scandal to your ministry, to your family. It'll be a shame on your children. And you're not going to be able to get out of it. Some of you, things can happen where you get hurt, where you caught up. You will do things you never thought you'd do. Some of you, you'll bring children into the world because you're going to be caught up. Some of you, you end up with diseases. And what God's going to do, he's going to protect and cover your husband, your wife, and your children so that you are not able to bring this. He's going to expose you so that you are caught. God has ordained me and God has commissioned me that's the word to give you this warning some of you need to end this mentorship some of you you need to turn the reins over to somebody else some of you if you are mentoring a woman you need to have a woman with you you need to have somebody else in that room if you're mentoring a man you need to have another you need to have a man in that room with you that's covering yourself because there's this naive behavior that's happening in the household of God and we must be the most vigilant. We must use wisdom. We must use discretion. We must use discernment because not everybody that's coming in and saying I want counseling means it. Sometimes they simply want your audience. Sometimes they come in and make up a bunch of mumbo jumbo stuff just to be in your face. Sometimes you're counseling a Jezebel, male or female. They have no intention of changing. They don't have any problems. They want your attention. And God will warn you. He will show you. He will show you. He will warn you. And the thing is, once you are attracted, even if it was a thought, you are starting to look at this man or this woman in a different way. You need to stop what you're doing. Switch up. Get somebody else. You in these cases, if you've already crossed those lines of 
having the, the, the thoughts and looking forward to them. It's not a matter of someone else being in with you. You're already compromised. You need to end it. And some of these counseling sessions don't need to go on as long as it does. Some of it is going because you just want to keep meeting one another. People will deliberately not get better and keep having problems to keep it going. And you must be able to use discernment and know there's only so much you can do. And there's nothing that, that's impossible with God. And you are not God. You are sent there to counsel for a specific time, a, a specific, uh, for a specific space of time. And the rest, you let it go. Because as long as this person continues to hold on to you, they're never going to stand on their own two feet. I don't know who this message is for. But your mentorship, what you call it, it's turning into something that they call a situationship. You are getting, your mentorship is becoming a relationship that is going to bite you hard. I've been sent to warn you, whoever you are, if this message is not for you, pray for those who it's for. Some of you, you're already planning things. You're changing the places where you're meeting. You're trying to meet and suggesting meeting in nicer places, having meeting for lunch, meeting in these places. God is warning you. Some of you, you're already starting to have conversation that has nothing to do with what you were supposed to be counseling and mentoring this person about. God is warning you. Some of these people are young children children that are the, the the teen sons and daughters or the young adult sons and daughters of your patrons people in your churches people in your community don't do it do not do it do not engage with your deacons or your 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 patrons children grown children some of them are married some of them are just young adults just hit 18 19 years old and you're looking at them God is going to hold you accountable if you tarnish and stain that young lady, stain that young man, flirting, conversating with them. It needs to end because he is going to bring exposure and you're not going to get away with it. Warning comes before destruction. Warning comes before destruction. Those of you who this message is for, you know who you are. You can ignore it. You can scoff at it. You can try to adjust without changing. God is saying, close that door. You've been warned already. And you hear in this video, that's your other warning on top of all the other warnings that you've had. Do not let him have to expose you.